Friends, hello again. Today, I'm going to finally talk about p-value. And to be honest, I'm not crazy about uh, this lecture. So if you don't know what p-value means, forget about it. Don't just don't don't, don't follow uh, because it's a concept that is not very solid. It doesn't have any uh, strong uh, probabilistic basis and yet is used uh, abundantly. Let's recap from uh, the session on correlation hacking uh, and, and, the, and, and the metrification of things. Let's recap and focus on the two central points. Numero uno, il primo, uh, metrics are often stochastic variables. In other words, the random variables that by the law of large numbers converge to something. Sometimes they don't, but they're not deterministic. So in sample, you may get a, a different result uh, uh, each time you try, if, particularly if your n observation is not very large. That's the first point. The second point is whenever something is stochastic, you have what I call in, in most of the books, uh, the sanitary of silent evidence. In other words, there are a lot of things you don't see. The survivorship bias, if you will. Uh, we saw it in Fooled by Randomness. When you have a collection of traders, you only see the upper bound people making money. Likewise, I was saw in the black swan, how you tend to see events that were recorded and have a bias. And again, this is the upper bound. So the second point to remember is that you have hacking of these variables because someone can keep trying when something is stochastic to get the upper bound. And the upper bound on average the distribution of the maximum is different from the distribution of the variable itself. So people do not know that p-value is stochastic, or at least from what I've seen, I had to write a paper on it. Um, the paper is buried in uh, here, chapter 19, Statistical Consequences of Fat Tales. And you can find it on archive because everything I write must be available for free for those who like, you know, uh, uh, electronic versions. So what is the problem? When we use correlation, say I have X and Y, two vectors and with n, n observation and N is small, you know, you're gonna get a stochastic number. When N becomes large, it compresses, you reveal your N so people can know what, you know, whether your uh, correlation is statistically significant or not. So when you use correlation, okay, you provide people with an N. The problem with a p-value is that it is not provided with an N because supposedly the N comes out of it. Hence the problem we're going to see now. Let me start from the beginning. What is p-value? I have observation x1, xn, and let's say I want to see if the mean the mean, x bar, if the mean is uh, different from, say, zero, I'm going to simplify, okay? You can use something different than zero. Let me simplify. So the statistic is going to be x bar minus zero over sigma, the standard deviation of the observation, square root of n. Okay? So... That metric, let's call it the Z, okay? The Z is going to be the variable under consideration, and the p-value is probability, okay, that Z higher than Z. In other words, probability of exceeding Z. Now, you have the illusion that square root of n is a scaling here that takes out the subtleties of the problem, but in fact, it does not. And we're going to see what the result is going to be like. In fact, what we're considering is the distribution, assuming the mean of zero, okay, of z higher than that number. And that is a p-value. Okay. 
okay? So, to re-simplify, I'm assuming that, that I'm taking the exceedance probability, or so-called survival, uh, survivor, survival function, the probability of exceeding a certain number, using the distribution as the mean was zero. And that number can be 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.001, etc. Now, what is the problem? It turns out that the probability p value, probability of exceeding the is itself stochastic. So what do I mean by stochastic? This is its distribution, and it's going to look like this. This is its true mean, mean value, and it's going to, it's going to have observations below the mean. In fact, most observations are going to be below the mean. So, and to give you, actually, the, the difficulties of this, and, and you can get it in the book, it's page uh, 339, chapter uh, chapter 19, okay, in my book, or download it from archive. Let's say the mean is about 11. Now, the true p-value is 11. If you do it a million times on the same ensemble of things, you get 0.11. The probability, the p-value, probability that a p-value less than 0.01 is 25%. And you're going to p-value less than 0.05, 53%. So part one, just discussed, p-value is stochastic. It tends to be so skewed that most value will be below the true mean. And if the true mean is 11, you're going to have more than half the observation below 0.05. Starting with that. Things get worse. How? How do people game a metric? OK. You run experiments. Experiment 1. And you take the maximum. The maximum. OK. So the distribution of the maximum <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be lower, you see. So odds are that if you do four or five times, you're going to get a p-value of 0.01 with something with a true p-value of 0.11. Now, you may tell me 0.11 is better than random. I say, yes, but your 0.01 is not 0.01, <laughs> which is why for it to not be gained, the p-value should be considerably smaller than one percent so we're off by more than an order of magnitude so let me repeat p-value is a metric that metric is not thought as being stochastic but it is stochastic and the fact that the n number of observation comes out of the equation is uh, you know uh, what makes it a bad a bad metric in fact, not only it is stochastic, but it's very stochastic. As you can see, most of the observations fall below its true mean. So beware when you do p-values. <clears throat> Try to do something else. And it looks like the only people you know who like p-value are psychologists because they avoid having to do homework by having a larger uh, uh, n. In, in, in medicine, n's tend to be large. Uh, in, in psychology, it tends to be small, usually college people on campus. First of all, I, I think uh, psychology has a bigger problem, and p-value is pretty much the quantitative approach to it is severely flaws, flawed. So thank you for listening to me, and have a nice whatever it is. Uh, so I think it's the weekend here, and it's a great, a great day. Thanks. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.